Hi, I'm Pat, and this is our project. Let's get started. I'm Kathy. This is my Scott's mower. It's made by John Deere. The mower, electric, or the gas-powered mower, doesn't work anymore, so we're going to convert this to an electric. I'm ready to drain the oil out of the engine, and we'll remove the gasoline tank and drain that also, and then we'll remove the engine for our electric conversion. Boy, those are noisy. Okay, let's try this again. Here's the motor. There's the controller. Here's the charger. There's the foot pedal. Wiring terminals. There's a relay. There's a fuse. There's the contactor and heavy duty cable. Okay, so here's the battery out of the box. 24 volt, and this is from um, JAG35. First of all, we're gonna measure uh, an individual cell voltage and see how that looks. DC 3 volt. Okay, there we got three volts, that's great. Now, let's measure across positive and negative. And there we have 24.3 volts for the 24 volt battery. Excellent. Scan of what this looks like. The, these are the bus bars and these you can't see metal to metal here but the metal is under the red as described by the, the white line around the edges connecting Negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive, and finally negative. Oh my gosh, look at this. No motor. What are we going to do? <laughs> the ice capades are over. So the motor mounts down into the deck, and there are no holes in that deck. So we're building a template to drill those holes. Um, as you can see, the bolts go in blind into the motor, so we, we have to locate them very precisely so the motor can be bolted from the bottom. Uh, we're using plexiglass, we're using tape, and being very careful not to shatter the plexiglass. So we started with our... Uh, our a plexiglass template. Um, it's tough to work with. It wanted to crack when we drilled it, etc. cetera. Uh, so we got it where we thought it would work and then we transferred it to a piece of wood um, from like that to like that. And we don't have a drill press, so this gives us more of a guide. This is half inch plywood. It gives us more of a guide to get the bolt straight down where they need to go and then We'll use the wooden template to drill the deck of the, uh, of the mower. Let's go over here and take a look at that. There's the deck of the mower. And these are the original um, uh, motor mounts, but that's a much wider bolt pattern. We need to be drilling in here, 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 and here. So that's what we're going to do next. Ciao. And we're going to place the uh, template in, in place here. We'll, we'll start with that with a hole we made first to be a reference hole. And then we'll drill these other holes so that these bolts can drop down through them. And in, in preparation for this, we had to go underneath, underneath the deck and look for clearance because we didn't want to run into... Uh, structure that was mounted on the bottom of this plate uh, and be in the way. So I think we got it now. So now we're going to drill some more holes and see how it comes out. Okay, so this is the fourth bolt. Let's see if our alignment works. Voila! Doesn't that look good? All right. Good template. So this is uh, cleaned up. 
a little protective paint on there to block any rust. And away we go. Fired up and in case you're thinking about doing this, I want to show you how the uh, pulley goes on. This is a Scott lawnmower made by John Deere. This is a pulley drive, and imagine this is, everything here is upside down, but the, the shaft here, the one inch shaft, it's got a keyway, so we've removed the key because the pulley in this case has a built-in key in it. And that goes on like that, drops in, sits clean, and then there's a large bolt that goes through the center and tightens onto that with a lock washer so this can't drop off because this will be in operating condition. This will be flipped over like that. The deck will be here and this will be under the mower and this will be above the mower. Okay, some progress for today. We've got a um, motor installed, bolted down, ready to go. We raised the hinge supports for the bonnet uh, to give room for battery box and then finally we installed a deck here that will hold uh, the motor controller underneath the bonnet nice safe tucked away and uh, close to everything else see you tomorrow so there's our new motor shaft extending below the deck vertical and there is our pulley Ready to go back on, so let's do that. So here's our pulley back in place. Notice that I've left the, uh, the belts off. The belts aren't seated on the pulley because I, I want to get this to the point where that motor spins and we know the direction, things like that, before we have this thing of doing wheelies without uh, advanced planning. Okay, so we made a little progress today. We've got the battery's in place. We've got um, a charging cable in place here. We're, we're charging now at 15 amps, at 14.92 amps. We have mounted the fuse and a contactor down by the motor. We've mounted the Altrax controller which we will wire up tomorrow we started mounting a, a run fuse or a run switch right up here on the top uh, we still haven't taken away all of this old harness yet we're still seeing what we can salvage and what we can't there's the main contactor And I guess that's it. Tomorrow. Stand by for news, yeah. Ready. Okay, so now we're gonna install our first cable. We've made these cables, uh, number four gauge wire, copper stranded, uh, 5 16 inch lugs. Um, we've got shrink tubes uh, on it. Okay, say it again. First cable installed on there. And this is our pre-charge resistor. It's gonna, whoops, it's gonna go in like that. Sorry, you can't see that, I'm trying to hide it. Washer, lock washer. Okay, this pre-charge resistor is, is part of the startup process and it, its purpose is to prevent sparking um, in the contactor. Nope. Nope. This way. <laughs> this is tricky. Okay, there we go. And this is a fuse block I'm attaching this to. 
and we'll be coming back here to install a fuse between here and here to protect the system overall. So that's roughly what we had to do for the space we're working in. We need to loop this around so we didn't have too tight of a radius when we bent it. This then con connects across to the other side like that. And that's, that's across contactors. Okay. We've been crimping cables, but I don't want to leave this without showing you what the procedure is. This is a hydraulic crimper. This is a number four cable. This is a, uh, a cable terminal or lug, and it's for crimping. And we slip that on there after we strip back the stuff. And then that goes in there, and we clamp this down, and then that crimps out to done. Uh, so now we're planning our foot pedal. That's the uh, speed control, and it's a potentiometer, 0 to 5,000 ohms. And this is the termination on the end of it, that, as it came from the electric motorsports. I've labeled those as best I could, excuse me. And uh, they don't fit the existing connections, so we're going to have to cut these wires now. Uh, that's why I've documented it, and that's why we're taking these pictures. So we'll see what happens. Uh, here's another piece we had to fabricate because we had to have a landing for the foot pedal, um, which the original mower didn't have. So this will bolt onto the, the, the side of the motor mower and provide a safe place for your foot. Okay, we've completed the wiring, we hope, and we're going to attach the uh, positive cable here. No sparks, good news. And we'll put a bolt on there. And we'll come back in a minute and start it up. Cut off that little tail end. All right, listen up. We've got motor running on throttle. Excellent. Okay, we're going to do a walk around here. I think we're ready to go. We're wired. Positive and negative on the battery. Controller's wired up. Orange cable is the high voltage stuff. Here's a charging dongle. It's gonna hang alongside here. There's a major fuse and back side of the contactor and contact for the motor there and for the motor there. Coming around. We have contactor there. Positive side, negative side. This is the solenoid that triggers the contactor. If you're not familiar with this, a contactor is a super duty switch that'll handle high current and lots of duty cycle. Um, it also is equipped with a, a uh, pre-charge resistor up there. And there is a diode hiding down there. That little black bead on the wire is a diode, it's polarized, so it goes positive negative circuit. These wires you see here and here are control wires. Pulling our cable back. We have our foot pedal. Gave us a lot of grief because the colors didn't match the schematics we were following. This is a old bundle of legacy wiring in case anybody ever wants to make a gasoline-powered lawnmower. 
And then we'll come back around here to the other side of the controller. Two power cables here. Charging cable there. And we're ready to go. Okay, we're ready for a test drive. We got uh, wheels, we got air in the tires. We got the belts restored, which was a colossal effort. And the batteries are all hooked up. Everything seems to be nominal. Uh, we're gonna take it for a drive for performance. Uh, let's put that dust cover on the battery. And we'll be right back. I'm Kathy, and I'm hoping my brother will forgive me for making this happen. <laughs> I turned on the key, turned on the switch, released the brake. Here I go. She's checking the amps so we can uh, size the BMS. <laughs> 